I wanted to make a video titled, This is the Best Lightsaber. But determining that best saber requires the question, what are you buying a lightsaber for? By my logic, there are about six good reasons why you might be looking into buying a new lightsaber. If you can think of any that I don't, let me know in the comments or on my Twitter, at IamTheJess. Lightsaber collecting. Six reasons. Enough Fs and Cs to make the FCC jealous. Number one, fighting, choreography. Number two, fencing, lightsaber combat dueling. Number three, flowing, tricks and spins. Number four, cosplay, screen accuracy, or original creations. Five is collecting for screen accuracy or rare features. Number six is children, something for the kiddos. All of these reasons for collecting lightsabers can get expensive once the bug really sets in, but it gets even more problematic if you do more than one because each has its own best lightsaber for its niche. You can find links to every recommendation in my video description, and here's a preemptive use code Jess at firesabers.com for 5% off. For starters, if you're looking to reenact your favorite fights or make up your own fight choreography using the galaxy's most iconic weapon, then really you can use whatever you want or whatever you think looks best for your vision. However, if you're looking to join a Saber Guild chapter, they have local requirements that you'll want to check out. I suggest you read their manuals very carefully so you don't get kicked out like I did. But most of you aren't going to need those hyper-specific rules for a saber if you do plan to do fight choreography. So the real question here is what electronics are going to hold up best to the constant whacking of rehearsal. That's the main reason why baselet or stunt cores are the best here. NeoPixel blade technology will only hold up to so many swings before it'll give out. You'll also end up fighting against the extra weight of the blade rather than hitting your next step. So pick a comfortable hilt and put some simple electronics in it and use that and training. Hold on to the expensive electronics for later collecting reasons. My second listed reason for lightsaber collecting is still fighting, but something more real. There are actually a few different lightsaber fight clubs across the globe. Find something in your area, try searching your town, plus Ludo Sport, Saber Legion, Lightspeed Saber, or Cyber Combat League. Lightsaber fighting sports are growing in popularity across the country. I live in an area that hosts Cyber Combat League with multiple teams and tournaments happening regularly. So I jumped right in and started practicing with a team weekly, and I might even compete. Since Cyber Combat League is a full contact hitting sport, the lightsaber blades have a specific requirement of 7 8 inch thin grade polycarbonate. These blades have a slight flex to them which helps soften the strikes slightly. Firesabers.com sells adapters for 1 inch diameter hilts to fit a 7 8 inch blade. So really, you can use any hilt that you're comfortable with so long as it's 11 and a half inches or shorter. You're also allowed to dual wield, but the blades have to be shorter than 32 inches each. Otherwise, for single blade, the max length is 36 inches. So really, the best saber for this niche is the lightest weight saber you can get. Something with a stunt course so that it can take a beating. Again, neopixels are out of the question here, and most replicas are not comfortable or light enough for actual dueling. For me, the best saber for dueling is actually the cheapest sabers on the market, something that is easily replaceable and extremely light. I use these cheap dual sabers. Link in the description. Third on the list of Fs is flowing. This is where a specific saber type from a specific brand is really going to make all the difference. While it's true that you can flow with basic spins on any stick in existence, light up or not, performing contact flow techniques have a number of intricate factors that can be made much more problematic without a properly balanced stick. Contact flow is the epitome of using the force in real life. It's just that gravity is that force that we're using here rather than galaxy binding space magic. Although if you think about it, maybe gravity is galaxy binding space magic. I digress. Contact lightsabers like the one I use can be custom ordered from saberflux.com. Each of these sabers are individually crafted in America by the closest thing we have to Huyang in real life. Christian from Saberflux Workshop has made countless sabers and truly has the perfect contact saber design in my opinion. The fourth lightsaber collecting niche is the start of the seas, cosplay. This is where replicas shine, and obviously the best lightsaber for the cosplay is the one that completes the costume in question. The biggest issue with costume replicas is the vast selection out there, but the House of Mouse would have you believe that their legacy lightsabers are somehow the best option out there. The only thing legacy or black series sabers have going for them, unfortunately, is the official license seal of approval. Just about any third-party saber dealer is going to have better electronics with equal, if not better, build quality. My recommendation is always to start at firesabers.com to see if they have the hilt that you're looking for, and if they don't, don't explore other options from other dealers. Just watch out for scam companies and ripoffs. The fifth collecting niche is the most expensive C on the list, and it's just collecting for the sake of it. For this, the best lightsaber is going to be the one with the most bells, whistles, and dressings available. There are sabers out there that are built with solid metal crystal chambers, brass cores, and clockwork internals that would make a Bugatti watch jealous. Then you get into things like acid etching and powder coating, and then all of a sudden you've spent several thousand dollars on one single glorified flashlight. Dipping your toes into collecting usually starts with another niche, particularly with cosplay replicas. My most recent sponsorship package came from HeySabers.com. They've got a solid collection of replicas, including the new split saber from the highly controversial Acolyte TV show. The one thing we can all agree on is this saber is sick. Check out HeySabers.com and use code JUST for 5% off the next time you make a fine addition to your collection. Collecting makes the question kind of moot because for the true collector, the best saber is the one they haven't bought yet. The sixth and final reason to buy a lightsaber is for a child. If the kiddos want to play Space Wizard Ninja Monks, what's the best laser sword option for the younglings? This is going to depend 
depend on their age range. For one to three year olds, they're probably gonna want something that's inflatable rather than a light up glow stick. Ages three to six, get them one of those telescoping plastic toys, one of the OG style lightsaber toys. Ages seven to 10, get them cheap LEDs similar to the style that I use for saber fencing. If they're age 11 or older, they can probably start figuring out what niche they actually want a lightsaber for. Ask them these questions and figure out for yourself what saber your kiddo would like best. If you've made it this far, you've probably had enough lightsaber sales pitches for the foreseeable future, so I'll spare you the closing pitch and just thank you for your time. Maybe subscribe though.